Hey, what's up everybody? In today's video, we're going to learn how to use, build, and quickly deploy a web scraper that can help you learn a ton about any list of information and pull it all together in one spreadsheet that you can upload and use in any one of your software platforms. This is super easy and everything in this video is free to try, use, and follow along at promptloop.com. We obviously can dial in and help you with anything specific if you have questions beyond what we cover in this video. What we're going to be focused on specifically is taking a list of companies and finding out all of the case study information about their customers that they have on their website. This can be a treasure trove of information when you're learning about your customers, prospects, or even competitors in the market to know what they're talking about and how they're helping their customers. Anytime we start, we want to think about what the information we want to pull back is and what we're doing with it. In this case, we want to take a list of software companies to understand what customers they're working for and what is working well with their customers. The keywords that they mention on their marketing pages can be really helpful in how we engage with them. And if we're in this market, it could be helpful in how we engage with our new prospects. So what we want is a links to all the different case studies so we can give them to our team to learn more about. We want to know all the companies that each customer works with so we can sort and say, who, for example, does Stripe work with? And then we want to know more about each case study so that we can go use that in our own content. So now what we have is just the links to each one of these company pages. And we're going to see just how easy it is to use prompt loop, deploy a scraper and go get all the information that we want and return it back in a CSV. End to end, you can time me. This is going to take about a minute and a half and everything is available on our free plan on our website to deploy. So what we're looking at here is the prompt loop account page. I already have account set up and I have a task here. The task is telling me what it's going to do. And this is basically the job. You can think of this as your mini intern that can go out and do work for you. It's also the web scraper that's going to run the AI models for us and go find information. So this task is already there. If I don't have one already, or if this is a blank or new account, I can click new task and you'll see two templates here. One, finding specific information from a company product or another website or extracting a list, which is what we're going to be doing today. If you click this, the system's automatically going to set up a demo list tool for you that we can go ahead and customize. In this example, I've already customized and found the items that I want to hone in on. Company name is important to know what customers each of these software companies work with. The link to the case study, which we're going to be using to dive in and double click on particular instances we're curious about. The description of the case study, which is really just a dump to pull down all the keywords of how they talk about this particular success story. If I wanted to remove or add a column, I could simply click add, type in whatever other column of data I want returned from the scraper and even select the format. If I want to know, was this case study about a financial customer or not, that could be helpful for our data set and we could include that. So just going back to the task for a second, anytime you create a task, it's immediately able to be tested and used on the site. So in this instance, version two is the version I have live. It gives me a summary of what it's going to look for. And it just has one step, go to the website, find the case studies, pull them down for me, do it quickly, effectively. So what I can do is just grab a link here from a website page. I drop it in, hit test. And here we go. Here's an example of how this task will work. So you can validate it. We can go back to the page, make sure all these links are accurate. The descriptions are available here about each single one of these case studies. That could be great. I might go grab a few more links to test. And the reason we have the test page is you can just see that the format's right and make sure you're getting all the information you want. If the descriptions are too long or too short, we could just jump right up here click edit, add in more instructions about how we want to dial in this particular output, and then go back and test a new version. You can also switch between versions with one click here and see the history of the versions that you've already created. So once we're ready and dialed in, we can test and you can see all the previous results from what we've tested here. You can go up here and click run on data. What we can do is run this task on a data set. So this could be a list of our targets and appears in our market, industries, competitors, anything. I have a little list already prepared here of some of these companies. So once I upload the file, I can just click on the websites, which is a list of links, submit the job, 
And what this does is sends all of those sites to our systems to process and give you back one data set of all the results. So you see the job is launching and this can take a minute for a small job like this or a few more minutes for something that's a little bit larger. Then we can just wait a second, leave, go about our day, and we're gonna get an email when the results are completed. So this completed almost immediately as it's small. So then I can click view data, the data set loads, and then you can see I have 127 different case studies from these four different software providers. So you see the links here, in this case for Cell, talking about Stripe. And what we also have is the ability to search through any of this, like ROI might be something we would want to search for and anything is keyword searchable. And then we can filter out for a particular company, customer, and then save a new version of this task that we can then go on and use elsewhere. So just like Excel, everything you see here is immediately downloadable. You can export anything from prompt loop at any time. And then you can even go in here, rename a version, rename a version, save it and get going. So I thought this was a particularly interesting demo just to show you how quickly you can move with prompt loop. Again, everything is on the free tier and available today to run right away. So this is the end to end walkthrough of launching using and getting the results from a custom data set right away. I hope you found this was helpful. And if you want information on how you can take those results and then run more tasks on them, stay tuned or look at some of our other videos to get started. Thanks.